So understanding how light feels like when it hits, right? Um, it's more of it. I don't like to go too green. Okay, for example, this is too cool of a green. When sunlight hits, it's more of like, you know, something like this, right? So I'm actually going to start just playing with some textures a little bit and just seeing how it feels like when, uh, when light starts hitting some of the trees. So, oopsie. Just playing with some of that. I'm gonna just largely group some of the foliage there. Just start hitting, having some of the light hit there a little bit, maybe. Just that. Um, I know I'm not being very inventive with my greens, but that's not really the main point of what I'm, I'm not even trying to play with color temperature yet. I'm just trying to situate more or less the values and stuff that I feel going on. Maybe as the foliage gets more in the back, they start cooling down a little bit more to these greens. But now what's feeling off is that the characters don't feel quite low. So I need to, I'm constantly going back to the characters. Now what I can do is do another clipping mask and I can maybe do something, let's do something, let's do, or maybe let's do overlay actually. So overlay, well, actually, I don't have a technical description for all these. I just know what it kind of, feels like it does. So I'm overlay, usually I like to do this with sunset and I'm taking a warmer color and I'm just sort of brushing over all the parts that are being hit with light. Okay. So I'm taking a brush that has a little bit of um, transparency so that, you see that didn't work there. And I want to pick a yellow that's not too saturated, kind of a yellow orange that. Um, going on that feels that does not feel like the right skin color on her and so I need to I need to start over on that overlay doesn't always doesn't always work and I let me see if I cooled that color down just a little bit maybe there's some there's just some light hitting her ear oh sorry and hitting this part. Um, I don't like that lighting on her arm. It feels very, very, I'm gonna need to just traditionally paint that. Oh. So sometimes I'll just traditionally paint it that way and it feels a lot more natural, but now we can feel the light hitting a little bit more um, that way. Uh, I'm gonna go back to this character here to push the lighting on him and see if you can continue to play with what my vision was with just having, so sometimes an overlay, it can sometimes saturate it too much. So sometimes I'll do something, that's when I'll go to something like linear dodge. Now you can always just, linear dodge through this way, right? So let's say that's too yellow, too bright. I'm shifting it towards the reds. I'm darkening it and desaturating it a little bit. So we kind of get that feel of that light hitting his face that way. Um, he's like, oh, maybe we can get a little bit of the light hitting just parts of his leg um, and, and just a little bit. But now, with the background, I very, very quickly just want to start merging things. I'm very, Marco Bucci and I are kind of the same way. I could traditionally paint the sand, which is what I'm much more comfortable with, but I'm trying to show you guys tricks. So what I, what I could do is I could play with adjustment layers. Now this is, you can see I'm adjusting the whole thing. Um, what I'm trying to do is I'm just, the tones. I'm just trying to look at the sand and I want to sort of adjust the colors of the sand. So now that feels really off, right? I'm going to erase that whole adjustment layer and I'm actually going to start um, brushing in that sort of more purple sky ambient color onto the sand from my color adjustment layer. 
um, that way. So um, that feels kind of purple. I'm turning this more into a sunset piece more than I'd like to. So maybe we can brush in some of those. Oh, sorry. I meant to brush in some of those purpler pieces in the back here. Um, brush it in here. I kind of want this to be more daytime. So let me go back to my reference really quick and start looking at some of these, like how the light in the shadow looks. Maybe I can color pick and see how those blues look, but that feels a little bit more blue. And funny, when I color pick it, it feels literally green. So that's when I know color picking doesn't always work. I have the idea of the color in my mind, um, almost like a bluish gray, but you see how literally gray I am. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try that. And you can see just by desaturating the yellow, I'm already getting this like bluish. Um, it's too, still too, too blue. Sand will actually be something more. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a brush with a little bit of transparency so that I can, I'm essentially mixing a little bit of that yellow into um, the, sh the, the blue shadow so that I can sort of start getting a little bit of that blue color, but not have it be overpowering, right? Sand is kind of a light tannish color. So, oh yeah, I was going to take this out. I don't really care for this thing. So I'm just going to take this out. Now I can also um, I can also I just I'm just thinking what brush I could play with. I see taper, I don't know what that is. I see taper. Lastly can be nice. I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to find a brush with just a little bit of texture. Um, but that is not too overpowering. So, oops, didn't mean to do that. So maybe this sort of, I don't, I don't know if James Park gave us these brushes. Um, these, you know, that little bit of texture there, too much of a hard edge here, will start giving me just a little bit of nice sand texture hitting, hitting there. I need to take out some of these brushes here. And I want to create these nice, now because this whole thing's in shadow, I don't, I just need a little bit of an occlusion shadow under them, which is actually included in the render. You can see very quick, quickly for me personally, guys, I don't like brushes with a lot of texture because I cannot grab onto the shape and it drives me nuts. So um, very quickly, I'll just go back to something that just has a much more a much more graphic shape so that I can start just poking in some, some shape, some dappled lighting here and there. And you can see that the contrast between edges can help sort of um, need to play with my shapes a little bit more. I should probably uh, should probably look back to my reference and see how that feels. But anyways, what's not working now? The 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 the, water, the value of the water is all wrong. It feels kind of dull. So not an expert on painting water. So this is where I need to look back to certain references pick up on, okay, how's the water looking here? Um, how does the water feel like when it's in the back? Kind of picking up on how it's working. To push this more in the back, I believe I'll need to desaturate the water just a little bit, like, and maybe even add some froth in the water. So, with some waves. So I'm just, and I know I haven't even touched the cliff side yet in the back. So here, oops, now that's too desaturated. Water is tricky because picking the right kind of blue, I need to just play around with this to be honest. I don't even know, I don't really know what color it's supposed to be. And I'm trying to think 
I'm trying to think back to all the times I've been at the beach. Maybe this needs to be just a little bit lighter. Maybe that's too light. I do know though that when you pick white, it usually stands out too much. 